good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm heading to my first class of the day, which is my Photoshop class, and I'm actually turning in that really big project that I've been working on for the past couple weeks, my pansies and parakeets print. So I'll show you what I'm turning into the teacher, and I will see you on campus. Our assignment was to design motifs in gouache paints, scan them into the computer, color reduce them, and then transform them into repeating textile designs in two different colorways. We had the freedom to design pretty much whatever we wanted, so I made a collection that focused on the theme of pansies and parakeets, because both the flower and the bird have kind of similar faces, and I thought that the combination might make for a really cute and whimsical collection. We were asked to make a tossed repeat, a plaid, and a half drop repeat, and then I made three extra, more simple prints for some fun print mixing combinations. My friend Sophia also surprised me with some more goodies from her bakery that totally made my day. Hello again, so my presentation went really well, which is a huge relief, and now I'm heading over to my screen printing class. Last week, you saw me scramble to print a ton of fabric to meet a very intense deadline, and then our professor decided to extend the deadline. Because I now had nothing to do in class, I decided to just have some fun and make some printed fabric for myself. I found this really beautiful orange and magenta linen fabric in my fabric stash, and I combined a bunch of my leftover paints from the past few weeks to make a fun colorway. Then I spent a few hours taking my time and printing as much as I could. First, I printed on the fabric with my first screen and my dark purple ink. And once that was dry, I printed over the purple ink with my second screen and a bright magenta ink. The colors are a little bit out there, but I think I really like how it turned out. I think that in total, I have a little less than two yards of this fabric. If you have any suggestions for what I could possibly do with all of this, please let me know in the comments below. And here are all the prints that I've made with these screens so far. Next week, I'll scrub these screens and start planning my next design. Hello again, so I'm now heading home after what was actually a really chill Monday. I feel like this semester I have not had a single, just like relaxing, nice, peaceful Monday. So this is a pleasant surprise. In my first class, which is my CAD class, we presented all of our projects to one another. So that was a beautiful time, just sitting and looking at everyone's work. Then in screen printing, because I was kind of like ahead of the game, I could take it easy in this class and just kind of do what I wanted for myself without really any expectations to turn it in and have it critiqued. So I just made that fun print for me and that was nice. After I did that print, some of my classmates and I decided to just like hang out and talk to the professor because he's had a really, really cool career in the fashion industry and we were just kind of picking his brain and asking for advice. And one thing he said to us that like really stuck with me, I was like, what's one piece of advice you would give to fledgling designers? And he was like, know what you're good at and know what you're not good at. And that's something I'm definitely gonna remember. I feel like that's solid advice. <laughs> so now I'm heading home. I have to study for a Japanese quiz. Surprise, surprise. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I've been making an effort lately to walk through this like Columbus Circle fountain area in the morning. I just find it really grounding and relaxing and it's nice to just like listen to some water and kind of breathe a moment before heading to campus. So I've been up since very early in the morning just like cramming for my Japanese quiz as usual on Tuesdays. And I have a pretty long day ahead of me. So I'll see you on campus. Thursday, 
The only way that I can get through this four hour class is with snacks and coffee breaks. Hello again, so I just got out of my class early and since I have a little bit of time before my next class, I thought it might be fun to go for a walk and maybe find some food that's a little more interesting than what I usually get. <laughs> That was definitely a much needed break. Today the weather is absolutely beautiful. Last week I was pretty much in a ski jacket and shivering. Today I'm just in like a tank top and a light cover up and I'm just soaking up the sun. I also managed to get enough food to have dinner and probably extra, so that'll be nice because I think tonight's gonna be a long night. I have to warp the floor loom, so that takes a little while. So it's kind of nice to have food and not have to leave the classroom. So anyway, I'm heading back to campus for my weaving class and I'll see you there. My whole afternoon was spent threading my loom with the off-white warp that you saw me wind last week. Threading is no fun. Hello again, it's about 6.45 and I'm calling it a day. I didn't really anticipate that threading my loom was gonna take me as long as it did. I only threaded the heddles and it took me four hours, which is crazy. <laughs> I guess I'm so used to my loom at home where it takes only two hours to finish the whole thing. This four hour burst was just like a lot and I really don't wanna continue on into the night. So <laughs> I'll probably come back to campus later on in the week and finish that up. So anyway, for now I'm heading to Bullock and yeah, I'll see you later. I had to get Bristol board to mount some mood boards, masking fluid for watercolor paintings, and cheap brushes because the masking fluid destroys brushes. So my Blick trip was a success. Now I'm gonna head home, eat my leftovers, and hopefully call it an early night. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, actually one more thing before I sign off for the day. I've been reading all the comments that people have been leaving on my last video and I am just like, overwhelmed with joy from like the nice things people are saying and I just wanted to let you know how much that really means to me so truly from the bottom of my heart thank you good morning happy Wednesday so me and my portfolio bag are heading to campus and I'll see you there after stopping by my locker to get all of my painting supplies I continued to work on my orchid themed apparel design today I had a bunch of little things on my to-do list for this project that I worked on throughout the course of the three-hour period First, I mixed some gouache paint to make the perfect background color for my painting. Then, I continued to practice paint and plan what my flowers are going to look like on the finished piece. And then I used a light box to trace my design layout onto fancy watercolor paper. Hello again! So, I just finished my first class of the day where I was just making progress on my orchid print. Pretty much I was just working on like tons of little things that would get me closer to starting the final print. So I was mixing paints, um, tracing stuff, kind of like just doing trials, pretty much everything I could to prepare for actually painting. And hopefully on Friday, I'll be able to actually start that painting. Anyway, I have a short break between my classes. So I thought I might use this as an opportunity to go get some air. It's a really nice day again. So I just want to like seize this while it lasts because I know that it's going to get really cold again really soon. So. Oh, here we go, full sun. That feels good. <laughs> in my nature studies class, we continued to work on our pen and ink drawings from last week, which were inspired by natural objects. I 
originally picked my subject matter with my parents in mind, and I wanted to surprise them by giving them this drawing. But then I remembered that they watched my vlogs, so it wouldn't really be a surprise at all. So mom and dad, I hope you like it. I then went out for dinner and dessert with my classmates, Sophia and Eleanor. We went all out and we got Japanese curry, shaved snow sundaes, and boba. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good! Oh. <laughs> Hello again! So I just got back from a really fun evening with some of my textile friends and I'm really tired so I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow! That was definitely a super unexpected way to start my day and that was fun! Anyway, I'm now heading over to my afternoon CAD class and today I'm wearing another piece that is super special to me. This is actually a the Wixton Hayori pattern that I made out of my own handwoven fabric and this is... And this is actually the first ever weaving YouTube tutorial that I made. So I'll put a link to that video in the description and I'll show you what the jacket looks like. After getting some holiday coffee drinks, we went to our Photoshop class where we learned how to color index watercolor paintings for printing. Basically, because watercolor paints are so flowy and make gradients, even a simple painting will have hundreds of colors in it. So we have to reduce it to only 10-ish colors while still maintaining the look of the watercolor style. It's a challenge for sure. I then stopped by the print shop to pick up my mood board for tomorrow. Hello again, so I just got out of class and I'm heading home now. I brought all my paints with me and I'm gonna have to spend the evening painting because on Monday we're expected to have some watercolor motifs to work with in class. And this weekend's gonna be pretty busy for me, so probably gonna spend most of the evening just sitting down and trying to come up with some kind of an idea. I don't really have anything yet, so we'll see where that ends up going. <laughs> Hello again! So I've been trying my best to watercolor for the last four hours and honestly I have pretty much nothing to show for it which is like not a fun position to be in. <laughs> Today was pretty much my only night that I had to work on this project and I needed to come up with an idea and come up with some motifs because this weekend I'm going to be super busy so I just won't have the time. And I think that the pressure of thinking of like the perfect idea tonight definitely got the best of me and I also think that my lack of confidence in my watercolor painting skills definitely got the best of me so it's just not really been a fun time. Maybe tomorrow I can find a moment to try to take a crack at this again but I honestly will not have the time so I have no idea how I'm gonna get this done but I'm sure I'll figure something out <laughs> but for now I'm going to bed so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning happy Friday! So when I imagined New York fall coming from California I thought it would be like cool, crisp, yellow leaves. I didn't know it was just gonna be hot rain and I'm over this. <laughs> anyway, today's gonna be another long painting day working on my two floral projects. So yeah, I'll see you on campus. I started my day by working on my pitcher plant print. Since my mood board was now finalized and I knew what direction I wanted to go in with my colors, I spent the morning mixing my inks to exactly match my color palette. I then traced a small sample of my design so I can do some more practice painting. Halfway through class, I took a quick break and I found a fun surprise at the coffee shop. Okay, so for some reason, the little coffee shop back there in the corner that I always go to is now selling soup? What? <laughs> After eating my soup, I went back to practice painting. And I continued to experiment with sprinkling coarsely ground table salt onto my paintings and learning how to control its crazy effects. This time, I tried to use the masking fluid to keep the paint from spreading where I don't want it to go, and I actually think it worked out really well. I'm really excited with how this piece is turning out so far because I wanted to capture the swampiness of these plants while still making them look pretty, and I think I'm heading in the right direction. Hello again, so I have a break between my two classes and the rain stopped for a minute, so I figured I can go for a walk and get some air. 
I know that last night I was saying that I wasn't really having a good time with watercolors as a whole, but I really am having fun with this pitcher plant project. And I think that's because I'm doing this salt technique where I kind of like don't have control over the outcome. So I can't sit there and agonize over my design being perfect or not because the salt kind of like will do its own thing. And I just have to be okay with whatever happens. And I think that kind of like letting go of that control and that like perfectionism has been really good for me. So I'm still struggling a bit trying to come up with an idea for my CAD project, but I would say I am having a little bit more fun with watercolors today. So I guess that's good. That's growth. <laughs> So because I'm stuck on that other project, I decided to ask this teacher. I was like, okay, if you're given an assignment and you have no ideas in your brain at all, what do you do? And she was like, I go to stores and I walk around and I look at what people are making and selling right now and I use that as inspiration. That just makes so much sense. So <laughs> I need to find some time to do that. Anyway, I used up all of her salt. So I'm gonna go find some more to replace her stash. <laughs> I then switched gears and spent the rest of the day working on my orchid print. I'm really glad that I picked two flowers and styles that are so different from one another because I think otherwise I'd go crazy just painting flowers all day. Even though I didn't necessarily feel ready, I started working on my final version of this painting. Hello again! So it's a couple hours after my last class ended and I stayed back just to get some work done and now I'm heading to dinner. So we actually have some really exciting guests this weekend and I can't wait to see them. So I'll see you there. We were visited by my boyfriend's mom and her boyfriend. We celebrated their arrival with a mac and cheese dinner at a restaurant that was featured on Guy Fieri's show and it ended up being amazing. We then spent the rest of the weekend exploring New York City. We visited Times Square, we walked through Wall Street. We got trapped in a hailstorm. We found Christmas trees. We went to the Westfield Mall. We visited the 9-11 Memorial. We ate dim sum at our favorite restaurant. We walked through Central Park. And we had a feast at Carmine's. It was a really, really lovely weekend. Thank you so much for watching my vlog this week. And if you wanna stick around for more of my art school adventures, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.